We found the presidential precinct in the belief that Jefferson, Madison, Monroe had lessons that were worth studying. We believe that their two great universities have lessons to share beyond the boundaries of Virginia and the United States. Uh, there's clearly a, a whole generation that's coming uh, through this program who's been given a very rich and very unique uh, experience uh, by being able to participate in, in such an international scale. The Presidential Precinct is a consortium between two premier universities, the College of William and Mary, the University of Virginia, four historic sites, three of which are presidential homes. Since our founding two years ago, the Presidential Precincts hosted over 180 leaders from 70 countries from around the world. This year, we're honored to host President Obama's Young African Leaders Initiative. We are going to take it back to the country and try to mentor other people, but if this continues, I mean, can you imagine five or ten years from now the amount of the leaders that will be mentored, trained, and actually influenced to go back home and influence? This program is more than important. Our goal is to create a physical and virtual place for emerging leaders who are interested in nation building to be able to come together and collaborate on challenges and ideas that they're facing in their community and intersect with private sector, government, and scholars within our partner institutions. It's a relationship that starts today and which will grow as each one of us young African leaders grow in our countries to rise to positions of leadership. It's going to be a natural relationship between ACOM and the young African leaders, each in its own country, to forge a partnership for the development of our continent as it stands now. No continent on earth has more abundant human or natural resources than Africa. In the next decade, where Africa goes, the rest of the world will have to follow. But I'd say that not every private company would invest in people. Not every private company would invest in Africa's potentials. Not every company would invest in Africa's future leaders. I think AECOM really knows where the future in Africa is and have decided to focus on that which is the youth. And that's remarkable, that's touching. And giving us the opportunity to experience what we've experienced. I don't, the only thing we can pay back is to go and implement what we've learned back home. I'm hoping that we'll be able to engage AECOM, the management, the staff, in some of our processes, whether it be the planning of our projects, the implementation of the projects, or just the monitoring of the projects. AECOM is going to rip back because this are a group of people who are going to be leaders on their continent. And we're not going to forget that on this journey, AECOM was with us. We're not going to forget that on this journey, ACOM believed in us.